Welcome to Fret Not. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome back to the Entry Level Metal Series. Hey, we're back. Yes, we are. What are you holding? We have the Feasley FDK 800. So it's a pretty good looking guitar, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. It's got a very classic look to it. So they got a bunch of different colors of this, and we really could have went with a different color, but man, for the purposes of this, <clears throat> we've got some more psycho colors coming. We've got a couple on the channel that are more bright colors. So we decided we'd go back with this. Mm -hmm. um, you've been playing it. What do you think about it? It's not too bad. Uh, plays pretty nice. Um, it's got pretty good tone. Overall, I don't have very many complaints at all. Okay. So we're going to get into the specs on this guitar. We're going to let you hear it in a mix. Uh, and we're going to come back and tell you what we think about it and how we feel about it. Tell you price point, where you get it, all that good stuff. Um, so I guess what we'll do now is we'll just go ahead and get into the specs because it's going to be really easy tonight on this one. There's like two specs. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so this whole body is poplar. Um, regardless how they ended up doing this, and I'm not sure if that's kind of faked, if it's a veneer, it looks really good. Yeah, it does. Um, so your neck is going to be made out of maple, and I guess... I have two really concerning issues with this guitar, if there's issues. A, it tells you the fretboard is mixed materials. Mixed materials, how about that? It doesn't tell you what they mixed. And maybe they're just trying to go green or something. And maybe, I don't know. But um, the fretboard plays really good. The yeah. fretwork on it's done good. I mean, at this price point, it's done really good. Mm -hmm. Um, and I guess my next concern, if there's a concern, and it's a pet peeve of mine, is the, the way they have the two-point tremolo on the back. Mm -hmm. So uh, straight out of the box, we had to tune it a little bit. Um, when you look at it, you can tell that the it looks like the neck is not straight, but I don't think that's the case. I think it's the height of the tremolo is not set right, and that's a really easy fix. Yeah. Um, but for the purposes of review, it really doesn't do us any good to take it to a Luther and get it set up all perfectly and then show it to you. And that's not what you get on the, when you order. Yeah. So we're doing it just like it was. Overall, it plays really good. Um, the action is a little high past the 12th fret. And I believe that's very indicative to this tremolo. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's a so, smidge high. <clears throat> as you know, if you watch this channel, we do give this guitar away. As soon as we get through with the review, we put it up on our channel. All you have to do is like the video, share the video, be subscribed to the channel, and type the word done, D-O-N-E, in the comments. And if you've done all the three before, when we check the analytics, then we put your name in a random name generator, and we give it away. Yep, we check the analytics. Yeah, you we gotta do the at, stuff. Yeah, we were looking at that today. So. Um, all in all, this is a really good playing guitar. Would I recommend it? We'll get into all that in a minute. So what we're going to do right now is everybody's favorite part of the show where we shut up and let you hear it in a mix. Yep. Okay, we're back. So you got a chance to hear it in the mix. Now you played it on the mix. How do you how do you feel about it? Um, it's it plays really well. Uh, 
like we were mentioning the for, before, the the action's just a smidge high. Mm -hmm. So I, I felt like I was kind of maybe overcompensating a little bit, causing me to press down a little too hard, making some of the notes not sound true. I understand um, that. But that's just me, and that's, you know, again, it's just the action. It's, it's correctable. So. so if you decide to buy this guitar, A, I think it's a really good buy. Uh, I'm not wild about the mixed materials on the fretboard, but hey, We've been playing it, it plays fine. Mm -hmm. um, whatever those mixed materials are, they don't say, so it is what it is, but uh, it plays good. But yep. if you win this, or if you buy this, man, take this somewhere. If you don't know how to do it yourself, have the intonation set and have them set this two-point tremolo here to where it it's not pulling those strings as much and you can set your action you know, lower. So the first two or three frets, maybe four or five frets, the action's great. It just continually goes up and I believe that's attributed to the way they put this tremolo on. Maybe they don't have somebody that goes, oh, we can't ship that that way. We yeah. have to fix that tremolo. Yeah, overall though, I think it, it plays really nice. So this is on sale on Amazon and I believe it was 219 or 200, no, it was 239 but this color, they have four or five colors, and they sell out periodically, but this color is cheaper than any of the other colors, and if you don't know it by now, if you're not familiar with the channel, my wife is Amazon Prime, so <laughs> if you're Amazon Prime, there's a $50 coupon that comes on this guitar, so we got it back, I believe taxes, shipping, everything was about 200 bucks to get it to the bad. door, we got it pretty fast. Um, so if you're in the $200 range on this guitar, be a little higher, a little lower, I think it's a really good buy. Yeah. It feels good. It's got weight to it. Um, the strings that are on it, I mean, you, come on guys, you're buying a $200 guitar. They're probably not the best. Um, and it did take us three or four sessions to kind of, kind of get them broke in mm -hmm. to where they would kind of keep tuning and everything. Um, the tuners on it seem to be pretty good. They're not locking. Hey, but they function. Yeah. That's all that really matters. That's so um, I think all in all, a couple of hundred dollar range, I think it's a pretty good buy. Mm -hmm. Now they make it in a bunch of different colors, but I believe this color is the one you can get the discount on. So if you're if you're not picky on, oh, I gotta have the green or I gotta have the black, yeah. or I think this is the color you get the best deal on. Mm -hmm. um, this company, from research on me, that I've spent for a long period of time seems to make a pretty good guitar and a lot of people seem to like it. A lot of people buy these guitars to mod them. Really? They'll buy this guitar for 200 bucks and they'll put 200 and something dollars worth of pickups in it and you know set everything on it and you're good to go. Now, if that was me and I was doing it, I would get something like uh, another one of our videos right now, the Mitchell, because it, it has a fixed bridge. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't try to upgrade this guitar if I wasn't upgrading that tremolo at the right. same time. Um, we did put, we don't have the whammy bar on there. We did put it on there. We did some dive bombs. It works. It, it bombs. It bombs. So along with this guitar, if you win it or if you buy it, you get a little clip-on tuner, digital tuner that goes on it. It's got a little care package. Of course, it's got your truss rod adjuster. It's got the whammy bar. We're gonna leave all that stuff in the bag because we don't, we're not touching any of that because like I said, we get through this review, we're gonna put this on our channel and it's up for, you know, whoever can win it. Mm -hmm. So um, all in all, I think these are pretty good guitars. I believe this guitar is better feeling than the Donner by a tad bit, but in all actuality, the setup on this is almost identical to the yes. daughter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm, I agree. There's been some of the guitars we've got where they're already set up. Um, they've come <clears throat> in and done the intonation before they ship it out. And hey, you know, we're not, we're not paying a ton of money for a guitar. So if you get one, whether it's this one or you order one and you know, you got to take it and spend 30 bucks on it or something at the, at the Luthier. I mean, just be, you know, you get a good guitar, they just don't take the time to do all, put all the work in. Yeah. So, on our channel, at the moment, we have the SBS, the Green Monster, mm -hmm. your fave. <laughs> um, it's up for the drawing. We have the um, Firefly Explorer. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's up for the drawing. Yep, get in on that. We have the Mitchell. 
That's the Les Paul style that we, you know, they sell for 400 bucks. We got for 250 and then they dropped the price to 250 a big, big ordeal. But hey, <laughs> you can buy that sucker at Guitar Center for 250 bucks, and that's a good buy. Yeah. Um, and we have <clears throat> another one on the way, and usually we could sit here and show you the preview of the next one, but it ain't got here yet. Not yet. So, um, and it's really going to be fun, man. If you've been watching this channel or if you're new to the channel, make sure you come back on the next episode because Colton has to play another explorer. Help me. <laughs> and it's pink. <laughs> this is why I'm here. Right, right. So, um, we just want to tell everybody thank you, man, for all the likes, all the comments, all the shares, man. Everything is, uh, we started this channel for the right reason, and that's to get some information out to you. Yeah. Um, you know, most people out there aren't doing what we're doing. Uh, they're not buying consecutive guitars and going which one's better. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're buying <clears throat> one. Mm -hmm. So we try to do these reviews to let you know, hey, am I throwing my money away, or is this actually going to work? This will work. This will be fine if you're learning intermediate second guitar. It'll be fine. It probably needs a $30, $35 dose of a luthier. Yeah, and you just take you a day, get you some new strings, yep. have them put some hands on it, and, and that's it. Uh, it plays good. Um, the little pickups aren't bad. I didn't mm -hmm. spend a ton of time with the single coils in front, but I did test them out. They do play pretty good. They're kind of aggressive for single coils. Love so. It. Um, you know, this channel is more about high gain, so we were really focused on the bridge pickup. Yep. Um, all in all, I think for 200 bucks in and around that money, this is a really good buy, and I think I'd be, I'd feel good about recommending this to somebody, friend, family. Yeah. Uh, this is a good buy, but then I would say, hey, let's take it and let's get the action set. Let's make sure the intonation's right, and let's, you know, if it was me, it's my personal preference, I'd lock that that tremolo down and it would move if that yeah. was me. But you know, if you buy one with a tremolo, most people want to do a little wow wow. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want to do a wow wow, then you need to. They uh, can do it. You just need to have that adjusted. So uh, once again, we appreciate everybody hanging out with us, man. Um, you know, I was thinking today, y'all just cover your ears for a minute. I was counting up some of the money from the high gain series. And I was jonesing today for us to have an actual studio. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We're building a studio, but it's months out. You know yeah. what I mean? So we don't have to sit on a couch in a living room filming videos. This is true. I want a real studio, and we're getting one. But if I hadn't have bought them 10 guitars, I could have already built the studio. You could have already had the studio <laughs> a little bit. But then we wouldn't have nothing to show these people. So yeah. I guess it's all catch-22. It is what it is. <laughs> but... Um, Go on the channel, man. Check it out. We've got the SPS. That's the green guitar on the thumbnail. You can't miss it. It's fluorescent green. We got the red and black Firefly. Yep. That's on the thumbnail. You can't miss that. And we've also got that blue kind of flamed maple looking Les Paul. That is the Mitchell. That one's there too. Those three are on there. Go get on those. Do the same thing on every video. Unfortunately, you can't do it but one time on each video. Per video. But... You can get on every video. We sent one kind of sort of local area-wise. Mm -hmm. We sent the second one to Canada. Canada. We sent the third one. I forget where he's at, but he's somewhere in our state. And then the fourth one should have arrived today in Missouri. Yes, sir. We sent the uh, IYV out to Missouri. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're here for. Um we want you to have a chance to win the guitar. We want you to, to under get the information on the guitar. So uh, when this series gets done, we're seven, eight deep now. Should be. On giving guitars away. Um, you'll be able to go and look at pretty much anything entry level and kind of know should you buy it or not. Yeah. Now, just so you know, I've stayed away from Gibson, stayed away from Epiphone, and I've stayed away from Fender slash Squire. Um, big guitar. I just, uh, you know, in the $200 price point, I just, I don't feel now. The one thing that's really bothered me is we gave away a Jackson, we gave away a Donner, we gave away an IYV, we gave away a Leo James. We've got an SBS on the channel. We've got a Firefly on the channel. We've got a Mitchell on the channel. And now this Feasley's going up and we have another guitar coming. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but it is an Explorer. Ha ha. Um, 
I really wanted to put an Ibanez, and just for the truth to be tr- told, the first guitar I went to buy was an Ibanez. And fortunately for you guys and for us, um, I actually, we get everything shipped in, but I actually went to Guitar Center that day and they had one Ibanez in this price range. Looked amazing. Mm-hmm. It was, I was like, bet. As soon as I walked in the door, I'm like, we got to have that. I played it for 10 or 15 minutes. I'm not lying to you. I'm not ragging on Ibanez. I wouldn't have given that to you. Um, that guitar would have got two thumbs down for me all the way around. It just, it didn't sound right. It didn't play right. The tuners weren't right. It wouldn't stay in tune and it looked neck wise it looked really cheap yeah was it wasn't it like an rg or no if it was an rg i think it would have been great it's one of their little geos oh i see i see so what we're gonna do is i've been doing a bunch of research and i'm gonna find one in this price point maybe a little a little above this price point that 250 dollars price point and we're gonna get an ibanez because i've played ibanez a lot in my life Mm -hmm. and they especially their rgs i mean if you play guitar for any period of time you've owned rg that's like the staple of guitars as far as metal goes so uh we're gonna get one we're gonna get it shipped in maybe not for next week but for the week after that when we get another guitar and i'm gonna figure out which one actually Maybe that one was just a guitar center. Maybe everybody beat it to death or ragged it. Or, yeah, it could have been played a lot. You know, maybe it was just bad QC. But I tell you what, I had it in my hand for 15 minutes with the money in my pocket to buy it, and I put it down. I was like, I'm not getting on the video and lying about that, and mm-hmm. I'm not giving that to nobody. Yeah, I think this, the ones we've given away, the one on the channel, are way better than that particular that guitar. Particular. So one. we're gonna find another one. We'll get that on there for these guys. And who knows, man, as this series keeps progressing, uh, we're going to run out of these, you know, $150 to $250 guitars, and we're going to move on probably to the next step. Big guitar. (laughs) I don't know about big guitar, but (laughs) maybe we'll kind of go up in more of that intermediate range. Now, we're probably not going to give 10 of them away because that'll probably be like a four to $800 range or something. It'd be around there, I'd imagine. Somewhere in that area? Yeah. Okay, guys, listen, make sure you go and look at the other videos, man. There's three videos running besides the one you're watching right now where you can win a free guitar. Okay, guys, we appreciate you watching, and uh, until next time. Stay tuned.